try to look at names that are correlating with the NASDAQ 100. Again, especially if you trade on NASDAQ 100 names. And if the NASDAQ 100 starts building above the 10 day moving average. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, day of trading. If you are brand new to the channel, thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us uh, to getting to know us, to kind of understanding our content of where we are coming from, or at least where I'm coming from. Uh, but more important, guys, thank you very much. And once again, we appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, and share, help along uh, the cause of unbiased uh, technical analysis. So let's get right into it. I, I think tonight's update uh, is going to be uh, pretty direct and right to the point. Okay, uh, so we had this really great run uh, for about a month and a half, two months worth of run. Uh, we came back into rising support on the 20-day moving average. If you guys remember yesterday, just an absolute phenomenal day. Uh, Tesla, NVIDIA, the Qs, everything under the sun just imploded into the rising 20-day support. And if you watched last night's video, um, I kind of didn't have an opinion, right? If you just go back to last night's video, I really didn't have an opinion uh, or a strong sense of what the market was going to do because we were so close to the 20-day moving average. It was super duper important to see if the market can bounce off the 50, uh, off the 20-day moving average or if it, start, if it started breaking down below the 20-day, we kind of would know it would be a bigger move back to the downside. And the market, you know, to the market pretty much today grinded up the whole day, right? Um, it grinded up, grinded up, grinded up. And you'll see here, this is going to be a very, very important uh, measuring point or point of reflection going into tomorrow's session. Uh, you see now three days in a row that the Qs have got rejected off the 10-day moving average. Everybody see that, guys? You got three days in a row that the Qs got rejected at 365. This is an absolutely a uh, tremendous and important level for the for the bulls going forward. If tomorrow they could finally reclaim the 365, that means this whole area here, this whole back test into the rising 20-day uh, moving average will be reclaimed. And if bulls can reclaim back the 10-day the moving average that's got rejected three days in a row, then we can start going back to uh, upper uh, the upper channel in this 372 upper Bollinger Band. There's the flip side to this as well, right? And it's a very, very basic flip side. Uh, today was an inside day, okay? As much as the NASDAQ rallied 1.6%, and today was literally the first day that the Dow Jones has seen green in the last seven days. That's a, it's a very, very important area to understand. The most important part was this was an inside day for the bulls, and meaning it didn't take out the previous day's high. Again, it got rejected off the 10-day, and it didn't take out the previous day's low. So I could literally, like I was saying this in the webinar today, I could literally speak to 100 people in a room, divide them... 50 at a, at a piece, and I could convince, I can make a, a very convincing uh, argument for tomorrow's session that, hey, we had an inside day, we're going to resume going lower. And I can also make a, a really, really good argument that we held the rising 20-day moving average just like we did on May the 5th that we talked about yesterday. And now we're just one day away of reclaiming the 10-day. That's kind of where I'm leading. Doesn't mean it'll happen, but that's kind of where I'm leading. Uh, the only problem was when you go through chart after chart after chart, you'll notice two things, okay? You'll notice that a lot of these stocks were really, really oversold in the last two weeks, and they just had a dead cat bounce. A lot of them, right? Not all of them, but a lot of them. And another very important aspect in kind of a discussion, kind of preparing for your day for tomorrow is the most basic essence of technical analysis, and we discussed this uh, in nausea for years and years and years, if you've been watching this broadcast, there's no possible way a stock or ETF or index, whatever the case may be, can go higher if it doesn't start building above the previous day's channel. Well, that's the problem. We didn't, despite this rally here, we did not get above the previous day's channel, but we're close, right? And again, somebody's gonna turn around and say, well, close is just uh, is, is important in hand grenades and and, and uh, what was it called? The shoe horns, the shoe throws are really called. So it's really not that important. I, until we reclaim the 10 day moving average or lose the 20, it's gonna be deemed delta neutral. However, the way we did close today you are going to start seeing many more names starting to creep up towards the top of the channel than the bottom of the channel because while well, we closed, uh, you know, within striking distance of the 10-day moving average. Here's the problem. Again, here's the problem. Look at names, for example, like Amazon, right? 
Amazon is very, very strong, didn't take out the previous day's highs. Microsoft, pretty strong, didn't take out the previous day's highs. Tesla, right, dead cab bounce, no way near the previous day's highs. Look in the video, right? Had a nice strong day, inside day, didn't take out the highs, didn't take out the lows. So tomorrow, when you're doing your watch list tonight, try to look at names that are correlating with the NASDAQ 100. Again, especially if you trade on NASDAQ 100 names. And if the NASDAQ 100 starts building above the 10-day moving average, the stocks that are above the 10-day moving average already have a higher probability to expanding versus the ones like an Amazon or a Tesla. Not that they can't go higher tomorrow, at least continue this dead cat bounce from the bottom range, but they're going to still need to do a lot of work just to get back into their supply zones. So for example, look at some names that are oversupplied. Apple's oversupplied. Meta's oversupplied. Letter U today had an upgrade, really, really big move, had a great run on earnings, big move today on an upgrade. That's oversupply. So it's very, very important to concentrate on those names. Is it possible, for example, Tesla has another debt, debt cat bounce? Absolutely, right? Absolutely. For, for Tesla to really go nuts again, it would have to reclaim the 10, just like the Qs. It's, again, it's almost like a mirror image of the Qs. But is it possible that Tesla gets another dead cat bounce tomorrow and just trades into the 5, 10 day moving average with some cash flow? Absolutely. So when you're doing your watch list tonight, guys, try to find names that are above, uh, try to find names that are above supply. Uh, they're not a lot, okay? It's always, always remember, when you're getting a pretty big sell-off uh, like we did in the last two weeks, you're not going to get an exorbitant amount of charts, but the ones that are obvious are standing pretty closely. Look at a chart, for example, like Airbnb, right? Airbnb uh, has been actually holding up fairly, fairly well. We discussed this chart uh, in the past, in the last couple of weeks or so. All it needs to do is get above this channel here. Keep an eye on this thing. Look at a name like Roblox, right? Roblox, the same thing. One of those scenarios that, again, another chart that got rejected at the top of the range three times. Again, I'm assuming if the NASDAQ starts waking up tomorrow, well, why can't Roblox, right? Well, we're definitely watching Roblox above this top of the channel as well. Look at a name like ENVX. It's a name that we discussed a couple of weeks ago it finally had a really, really big breakout today. And the most important part of it is if you look at the weekly view, right? If you look at the weekly view, you can see that it went, the consolidation was going all the way back to January, February, March, right? So this is a very, very big breakout. This is a name uh, that you want to watch either in into a rising dip if there's some uh, profit taking tomorrow morning or above today's ranges. So there's definitely things to do. Meta, uh, has been holding up really, really well. It's closing at the top of the range. So we're definitely set up tomorrow. But the key metric, the key number uh, to, to watch tomorrow, guys, is the Qs. Nothing will happen. I give you my word. If the Qs get rejected once again at the top of the range, at the 10-day moving average at 365, I'm telling you, everything else is going to start getting hit and start going lower. So 365 tomorrow, guys, it's do or die. It's a very, very important level. Uh, if we could close, especially above the 10-day moving average, that's going to reclaim supply. And if you've been watching uh, any of these videos or any of the PS60 workshops, you kind of know that it is the birth of the trade. Uh, and so the most important level there for the bulls is the reclaim of 365. The bears, if they want to seize another opportunity for the market to go lower, they have to keep rejecting them there. If not, we're going to have another bull parade. So I have to cut this a little bit uh, short, guys. My son has... Uh, basketball practice tonight. Guys, have a great night, everybody. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We have a dead cat bounce today. A lot of names still didn't reclaim the previous channels, but this is what's great about the market. You don't need to recreate greatness every single day. Yesterday was very aggressive, a lot of value. Today's just a lot of dead cat bounce. Let's see if the dead cat bounce could technically seize this supply and we could further uh, a further massive run that we are holding uh, in 2023. Guys, God bless everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry for the little bit of a short video, but daddy duty calls and I got to run. Have a great night.